is recognized for two minutes. I, I thank the gentleman for yielding none. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise in, in strong opposition to this closed rule. I offered an amendment yesterday to addr address an injustice against the members of our armed services that was shut out by this closed rule. Briefly, my amendment would have increased the across-the-board military personnel pay for 2009 from 3.9% to 4.4%. This pay raise would have been effective retroactively from January 1st, 2009. According to estimates by the Congressional Research Service, the pay gap between military personnel and civilians in comparable positions is 3%. Particularly during a recession, it is unacceptable that our men and women in uniform receive less than their civilian counterparts. You know, I was uh, just in Afghanistan over the weekend and had the opportunity to uh, meet and, and uh, work with a wonderful, committed, professional uh, group of men and women in the military. Uh, they've been serving us uh, to keep us safe and to establish the stability in the Mideast. But given this uh, shortfall in pay, I thought it was appropriate to provide for our troops some supplemental income in this uh, supplemental appropriations bill. Unfortunately, this rule would not even allow an up or down vote on my amendment. Mr. Speaker, I, I cannot support this continued ab abuse of process. I urge my colleagues to uh, uh, oppose. You. Yes. I, I thank my friend for yielding. And, and Mr. Speaker, I'd simply like to say that the gentlewoman has offered an extraordinarily thoughtful amendment which reaffirms our dedication to our men and women in uniform, and especially as Memorial Day approaches, it seems to me that we should have an open amendment process that would allow us to fully debate the Bigot Amendment, and it saddens me that this structure around which we're considering this issue is, uh, is so restricted. And I thank my friend for yielding. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back the balance of her time. Gentleman from Colorado. Mr. Speaker.